Hello traders, welcome once again to our channel. In today's video, I'm thrilled to share a simple but incredibly powerful strategy with you. Don't underestimate its simplicity because once you master this strategy, you won't need any other. I will guide you through each step, making sure you understand every detail. So please watch the video till the end. But first, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new powerful strategies. Additionally, I would like to point out that you can apply this strategy to a wide range of asset classes including Forex, Stocks, Crypto and on any time frame. So without any further delay, let's jump straight into today's video. As always, I'm using TradingView.com for my technical analysis, and we're going to set up two indicators. Now set the time limit to 15 minutes, which is perfect for this method. However, keep in mind that this strategy can be employed effectively on many other time frames such as, OK, let's first add the indicator to the chart. To add indicators, simply click on the indicators tab at the top and find the coral trend indicator here, then choose this chart created by Lazy Bear. As you can see, it's overlaid on the price chart in the form of consecutive green and red dots. And when its color is green, it shows an uptrend. We can see here that when the color of this coral trend indicator is red, it shows a downtrend. Now change setting for easy for understand, go to setting tab. Now in the input tab, smoothing period will be 21 to 28. Next move to here style tab and uncheck the bar color option. Now everything is fine, now we will click on OK. And it is a perfect tool to show us the current trend of the market and filter out false signals that may occur during pullbacks. Which is dynamic money flow. I explained. So, go to indicators tab and search dynamic money flow, now select this one create by Reza HMT and add to chart. We looking the dynamic money flow indicator here. And as you can see, it's in the form of an oscillator that is moving above and below the center line, which is zero. This indicator is a volume based indicator and it's built based on trike and money flow. But it has some improvements and new features and it performs better than trike and money flow. This indicator helps us to discover which way the money is flowing in the market. It helps us to know if we have buying volume or selling volume. In other words, it helps us to know if there's more interest for buying or selling. In the indicator settings, so click on gear icon, first change to input tab in period change 26 to 30. Then change fast length 8 to 10. And here decrease the slow length from 20 to 15 now move to style tab here keep the rest of the all options as they are and click on OK. And as I mentioned earlier, because this cloud is moving smoother and without any considerable noises like DMF line, when it crosses above or below the center line, it can provide a much better signal on trend reversals that are happening in the market. Another important point about this indicator is that in the times that the indicator is above the center line and DMF line is above the cloud, it shows very high amount of buying volume and buying interest among traders. So strong advancing of the price as you can see. Now we will see an example by combining both the indicators. We can see here that when the color of this coral trend indicator is green, and the market price is above coral trend indicator, now we will go to the second indicator that when the indicator is above the center line and the DMF line is above the cloud. So we will take a buy trade here. As you can see this trade has gone into profit. Conversely sell trade, first see here that when the color of this coral trend indicator is red. And the market price is below the coral trend indicator, now we will go to the second indicator that when the indicator is below the center line and the DMF line is below the cloud. So we will take a sell trade here. As you can see this trade has gone into profit. I hope you must have understood this example of strategy. If not, then it doesn't matter, we are going to see examples of some test trades, so that you will definitely understand. Now we will see by trade on GBP USD chart and 15 minute time frame. First of all we will see that the color of coral trend indicator should be green. And the market price coral trend indicator should be above. Now we will move to the second indicator that when the indicator center line is above and the DMF line should be above the cloud and all the conditions have been matched. So we will take a buy trade here. 
and stop loss is below the coral trend indicator and target is 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see how to play out this trade. This trade running in profit. Now this trade won. I hope you must have understood this trading strategy. And of course, it's going to be the opposite for a short trade. First see that the color of the coral trend indicator should be red. And the market value coral trend indicator should be below. Now we will move to the second indicator that when the indicator is below the center line and the DMF line should be below the cloud. You can see all the conditions have been fulfilled. So we will take sell trade here. And stop loss is above the coral trend indicator and target is 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see how to play out this trade. This trade running in profit. This trade has completely hit the target. I hope you must have understood this trading strategy. Now let's take another by example here. First see that the color of coral trend indicator should be green. And the market price coral trend indicator should be above. Now we will move to the second indicator that when the indicator center line is above and the DMF line should be above the cloud. And all the conditions have been matched. So we will take a buy trade here. And stop loss is below the coral trend indicator and target is 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see how to play out this trade. Now this trade hit the target. I hope you must have understood this trade. Now move to next trade, here's see last trade of sell. First see that the color of the coral trend indicator should be red. And the market value coral trend indicator should be below. Now we will move to the second indicator that when the indicator is below the center line and the DMF line should be below the cloud. You can see all the conditions have been fulfilled. So we will take sell trade here. And stop loss is above the coral trend indicator and target is 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see how to play out this trade. This trade has completely hit the target. That concludes this video. I hope you found it valuable. Again, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. This is purely for informational purposes. And if you like the video then subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our new video. Thanks for watching our video.